Hello there, and welcome to this educational talk on vascular access for haemodialysis. My name is Jeremy Crane, and I'm a consultant surgeon with an interest in transplant and vascular surgery. And today I'd like to talk to a patient of mine about her choices for vascular access for haemodialysis, which she's going to be needing within the next few months. Hi there. So, what I'd like to discuss with you today is your choices for vascular access. And I'm going to talk mostly about a central venous catheter and also a fistula. But the main thrust of the discussion will be about making a fistula for you because we, as we discussed, this is the best thing for you. Let me tell you a little bit about the central venous catheter. In my institution, we use something called a Tessio line, but there are different versions of this. Essentially, these are plastic tubes that are placed into your great veins leading to the heart. And that's done by an operation under local anaesthetic, which takes about 25 minutes to half an hour. And it's normally pretty straightforward. Okay, so what happens is, is that the lines go into the great veins, and some aspect of this plastic is tunnelled through the skin, and it comes out of your chest wall. Therefore, these two port sites here are amenable to be opened and be connected to the dialysis machine. And so one pore site, the blood will come out into the dialysis machine and it will get washed, so all the impurities are removed, and the blood is returned via another port. So as long as it's kept clean, it's pretty straightforward and it doesn't involve any needles like a fistula, which we'll discuss soon. Now, the good things about having a central venous catheter is, as I said, it's easy to place in the body. It's an easy procedure to do. And also, it can be used straight away. So if somebody, what we describe as a crash lander, someone needs dialysis urgently, we can put in a Tessio, 10 minutes later they can be on the dialysis machine. That's a major advantage. Now what are the disadvantages of having a, um, a central venous catheter? Well the major disadvantages are twofold. Number one, infection risk. Because as you can imagine, you have plastic sitting in your veins and there is an infection risk. The other thing is that the big veins might what we call stenose or narrow around the lines and that could cause problems in the future. Okay, now I want to talk more about making a fistula for you and this is the main thrust of this educational talk. Okay, so first question is what is a fistula? Okay, so a fistula for dialysis is when we join an artery and a vein in the arm and we often join them up at the wrist over here and also at the elbow crease here, which is what we're going to do for you. Now, as you know, arteries carry blood that is flowing very fast, and it goes from the heart to the tissues, and the veins very passively take blood back to the heart. Now, if we divert the arterial blood into the venous system, the veins start to strengthen and thicken up and dilate. And the good thing about that is, as you know, the veins lie superficially in the arm. And that means that the vein becomes thick and dilated just underneath the skin surface. And this makes the vein accessible for putting needles in. And this, these needles go in and one needle takes blood away from the body into the dialysis machine. And the other needle brings it back. And, though, and that blood is taken away at quite high pressure. So we need about 600 mils per minute of blood going from your um, fistula to the machine and back again. And fistulas do work very well, and there are some main advantages of them. The main advantages of fistula is for someone like you, a lot you, you might not want to have this plastic hanging out of your chest wall. For example, swimming and bathing and going to um, health club and such like, you won't be able to do that with this, or you might feel conspicuous. But with the fistula, it's much easier in the fact that once you've had your dialysis, a little bandage to stop any bleeding, and off you go with no problems. Okay, so from a, an arterial venous fissure, there's very small chance of any sort of infection occurring. Now, what are the things to watch out for for a fistula after it's done? Is that every so often the fistula can take can take too much blood through the fistula and away from your hand, and occasionally you might get tingling or pins and needles in your hand, or it feels cold. If that's the case, you'll come and see me, and we'll have a look at the fistula and it might, might need an operation to fix that and make it 
um, have less flow going through it. Now, just to go back to the fistula operation, it takes about an hour, and you go to, it takes place in the operating room, and it's done under local anaesthetic. So you're awake, and we can chat, and you might find it's not such an, um, an unpleasant experience. We can play some music in the background, and people often say that going to a dentist is much worse than having a fistula made, which is good. Um, once the fistula has been made, the things that you need to look out for is lots of exercise with the hand, and also do not get too dehydrated, so keep very well hydrated, and that stops the blood getting sticky, as the sticky blood might cause a fistula not to form and not to mature. Now, unlike a central venous catheter that you can use straight away, you can't use a fistula straight away. It takes from about four to eight weeks for it to mature and get strong enough to have needles, to have it needled. So, some patients might find that after two weeks their fish is ready, some patients a couple of months. So, that's something that we will look out for and a few weeks after the fistula has been made, we will examine it and see how it's getting on and see if it's ready for dialysis. The beauty of having a fistula at this stage is that it's ready and waiting for you when you need dialysis. So when your nephrologist, the renal doctor, says, right, you need to start dialysis, the fistula is ready and waiting for you. If the, you need dialysis before the fistula is mature, we can always use this central venous catheter as a temporary measure. Now we've talked about central venous catheter, and we've talked about having an arterial venous fistula. There is also another way of doing it, and that's via a graft, a prosthetic graft. And that's a piece of plastic tubing going from an artery to a vein. And that's something that we can discuss if the need arises at a later date. Do you have any questions at all? No, I don't think so, thank you. Okay. So, for our viewers here, we've, we've discussed a fair bit about um, central venous access for dialysis and also fistulas. And if you'd like to leave any comments or queries, please do so. Many thanks indeed.